Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. We got lots to do today, but I want to show you something. We got our first order of broiler chickens in, chicks, so I need to check on them this morning. So let's look and see how they're doing. Hi guys, you got water? I'll give you some food this afternoon. There's a hundred of them. Of course, those are the ones we hatched out back there, the bigger ones. Yes, Mr. Turkey, everybody hears you. He really wants to be on camera this morning. All right, I'll come back and load you up on food after a while. Next thing we gotta do is move the chickens. We're gonna put them out there in the field with the cows so I can till or finish tilling. I start tilling this up to plant corn in. So I need to finish tilling that up, but I gotta get the egg mobile moved out of the way first. All right, boys and girls. I know you're ready to get out of there. I'll get you moved here in one second. Something else. I had a guy call me, or actually he contacted me on Facebook and said, hey, do you want some uh, busted up concrete to use as fill? I said, yeah, I'll take it. So they brought me a few dump truck loads here. And I'm probably gonna do is dig out the barn lot, which I started to a little bit there, put this in the bottom and then put rock and lime on top of it. But I think that'll be a good base for that. Future project, not time yet. I tilled this yesterday other than where the uh, eggmobile was. Came out this morning and turned the door off so I could trap them in. But I need to finish tilling that little area there and then it's uh, this will be done. I can move over to the other farm and till that winter lot up too. That's chicken feed, that's not cow feed. If you guys eat that, you'll start laying eggs. Everybody's gotta come see what I'm doing. Make sure I'm not doing anything fun and exciting. No video's ever complete without seeing the old 507 here. She's a good cow. Let me scratch your neck. Oh, she likes neck scratches. Look at that fur coming off of you. You're getting rid of that winter coat, aren't you? She's a good cow. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This is the opposite of helping. You're not helping. That's not helping. Okay, so we got them set up and moved. And the idea here is I got another roll of the poly wire there. 
and I'll just take the opening here, set the fence, that other row, I'll set it up out here, then open this up, let the chickens move in, pull the trailer over, and that way I'm not locking them up um, when I gotta move them. I can just move them in the middle of the day, make it a lot easier. All right, that job's done. Let's move on to the next one. Up next, it's coffee break. All right, that's over, moving on. So next we gotta till this little area here up. <clears throat> Mandy's gonna plant some type of uh, beans in it, I don't know. I'm just doing what I'm told. Turkey wants to be on camera again. The teller does such a good job breaking everything up. And if you remember, the greenhouse was here and I housed chickens in it this past winter. So this should be very fertile in here. It's good color, nice and dark. Had some uh, wood chips mixed in with it. So it should be good. So next thing I wanna do is mix up some feed for the turkeys. And what I do, this is layer mesh. Um, 16% protein, which turkeys need a higher protein than that. So I'll also buy a bag of soy meal, which is 40% protein. And I'll mix it in to get the protein level up for the uh, turkey. Now I don't, this is not an exact science. And to be honest with you, I probably overdo it and the protein's too high which won't hurt them, but cost me a little extra money. But it keeps me from having 6,000 different bags of different type feed laying around. And then the layer mesh has everything in it the turkeys need. Just a little low on protein. All right, turkeys. to the other farm and till that too. Unfortunately, my brother just had his driveway uh, sealed. So it's gonna be this afternoon before I can get over that. But I wanna have all this minus where the feeding pad was, which I tried scraping, it's way too wet for it still. All this planted in corn by uh, tomorrow afternoon, this and the other farm. So this will be our feed source for the cattle and chickens and everything else.
All right, guys, that's going to do it for me on this video. I got a couple things I want to show you before I go, though. Um, the where the cover crop was versus where I was feeding hay bales, the difference in the dirt. Tilled up pretty good there. So this is where I was feeding hay bales. And of course where the cattle hung out and deposited the uh, fertilizer out their back ends versus where the cover crop was. I don't know if the camera's picking up, but there's definitely a big difference in the color of the soil. Uh, this is not near as dark as what that is. So I think that's a big difference. Here's the other thing I wanted to show you guys is uh, the girls here. Still pregnant. No piglets yet. Um, I'm keeping a close eye on them. I look at them at least twice a day, probably more like three or four times a day. Uh, Amy is, it's hard to tell because she's laying in front of that hay bale, but she's definitely got milk. She is not dripping milk yet. Her back end is definitely swollen, but she's still got and eats. She, I haven't seen her nesting or anything like that. As soon as I see that, I'm gonna separate these two out. Uh, she, Thelma is not quite as far along. Of course anything can happen but i'll put some boards up across the bottom and the bottom here then i'll divide that and i'll probably in the back put a board where the piglets can get underneath there and they got a safe spot and they can't get out where pig newton is over there so that's the update on the pigs i'm probably going to Till up when we plant our sweet corn is the next thing I'm going to do. And then I'll put the tiller on the little trailer, take it over to the other farm, drop it off, get the planter, bring the planter back here, and then I'll plant this. And then tomorrow I'm going to go over and uh, till and plant all that. I want to have it all done by tomorrow afternoon. And it, all this is dependent on when his driveway, where he had it sealed, when it dries so I can drive on it. Otherwise I can't get up to his uh, house. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like and subscribe for me. I really appreciate all the uh, support we're getting on the channel. Um, we're still young and it takes a lot to get them going. So I appreciate everybody watching, uh, subscribing, uh, liking, and commenting. I'm John with Ryan Family Farm. Um, I'll get, uh, when we start planting, I'll get all that on video and show you guys what we do there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.